Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Brogerman, and today I'm playing some more Dead by Daylight and I'm coming up with an interesting build. People have been using No Mither, it's been out for a while, but I just recently found a great use for it, believe it or not, stealth. You probably have never seen this perk build before because it doesn't have an exhaustion perk. I know, it's crazy, I'm using No Mither without an exhaustion perk, I get it. But you can't use exhaustion perks when you're not in chase. That's what this build is based around, never getting found. And if I do I have this fancy flashlight, I could just like go away, go somewhere if I want to. Killer coming through a window, meanwhile I can quick and quiet in the locker and they will never know where I went. It will be the greatest thing ever. That's my plan anyways. But let me explain this build. So no mither, it injures you for like ever. You cannot be healed. So the good part about it is that you don't leave pools of blood so you can never be tracked when you're injured, being all the time. And grunts of pain cause injuries reduced by 50%, which it's actually more than you think. I almost never hear myself. I hear myself here and there, but not really. It's basically 100%. And grants the ability to fully recover from the dying state. That's just a little bonus. Usually you don't get to use it, but I mean, I have used it in the past. I might pull up a clip right now where I actually used it. That that was just amazing. I I don't know how I did that. I'm I'm not sure what happened, but uh, I call it a clutch. All right. Premonition. You barely even see this perk ever anymore. Um, it used to be really good when there were only three killers in the game, because you had one third of a chance for it to be wraith, and this basically fully countered the wraith. So that was very useful, as well as spine chill. People use this to know if the killer is coming towards them. Not, not the actual benefit gives them. Lightweight, footstep marks stay visible three seconds less than normal. It's basically my insurance policy for when I run. I'm less likely to get tracked, so that's good. And then here we have quick and quiet. It's basically when you go in a locker, go through a window while running, the, it, there's no way to hear it. It regenerates every 20 seconds, so that's very nice. But if you're thinking of running this build, by yourself if you just want to pick this build up for some reason. Obviously, keep no mither. Premonition is very useful, so I highly advise keeping that. Otherwise, these two are pretty interchangeable. I mean, you can change one of them with resilience if you're used to stealth. And uh, I know there's dance with me you can use. You can use, uh, I mean, iron will if you think this isn't enough. Bond, I know bond is a pretty good perk. Urban evasion, I mean, I don't really find it that useful. I mean, when I was using it, uh, yeah. Technician, I know, is really helpful as well, because uh, sometimes you'll accidentally miss a skill check, and that causes the killer to know where you are then. So it's good to have the 50% insurance policy to not get found. And if you also have Bond paired with this, you can basically go to your friends working on a generator when you two are working on a generator. Then when the killer comes by, the killer will go on the other person while you're crouching behind the generator, Meanwhile, you can work on the generator, even if the survivor st decides to stick around for a little bit. It's pretty nice. Knowing where the killer is, is important for this build. That's why I have Premonition on. If you wanted to, you can use Alert. I haven't really used it at all. So I've been using this perk build for a while now. I've done some pretty cool stuff with it, but I am I was going to make a video on just being stealthy, but I decided, hey, I'm going to use No Mither in a couple videos, and I'm going to use it correctly. People haven't been using it correctly, because they always intend on getting caught and being chased, because they always run an exhaustion perk, like Dead Hard and uh, Sprint Burst and all that. Just don't get found, man. It's not that hard. <laughs> I mean, yeah, when you're injured, you don't want to be found. Ugh. Why would you get found? I don't get it. Dead Heart is actually a really use, useless perk, actually, because, I mean, you may be injured all the time, but that doesn't excuse the fact that when you use it, it's just like, eh, you might do something good with it, but if the killer knows what you're doing, then uh, you're screwed, basically. Oh, great, a doctor. The, the guy that directly counters my abilities. Ow. Okay. 
I mean, the doctor still can be countered. I played a doctor game one time and it, it went okay. So this guy has a really big tear radius. Basically, if I'm not in the tear radius, I feel like I'm free to run because the scratch mark should stay up for seven seconds. This one reduces it by three. So I'm going to run away. Wait. Oh yeah, he's coming. Oh yeah. Oh, great. That's very nice. Press space and everything. Nah. One thing about the no mither perk build, uh, you might be victimized. Killer does not care about your feelings at all. He will try to kill you every chance he gets. He's just gonna whack you down. It's gonna be the easiest thing they've ever done. So, if you're running this build for some reason, be prepared for that. Stealth, baby. All right, this might be the last generator. Not much has happened. I, I just got killed once, and everybody else has been dying. Most of the time, when you're doing the no mither build, you're gonna be doing generators. It's pretty much it. Just don't get chased. Then you should be fine. Basically, when your premonition goes off and you didn't have the killer knew you already, that's basically the game telling you, "Hey, go hide." So what you do is just like walk it over in one direction, hide behind a rock or something. Lightweight's kind of useless. I mean, if you know how to use it, you know the right times to use it. I mean, you can use it then, obviously. Easy as that. So I changed out lightweight for alert. If you don't know what this does, when the killer breaks a pallet within 30 meters, it, the killer is revealed to you for 6 seconds as an aura. And it can be triggered every 30 seconds, so I mean, if someone else is chasing him around, then I can know where he is. So I don't have to use premonition that heavily. Um, what the hell? Another kind of crappy thing about uh, No Mither is that you get the injured music all the time. Like, there's no way to stop it. It's just this music over and over again. If you keep on using this build, you're gonna get annoyed. Cause it's, well, annoying. That guy is getting victimized pretty hard. It makes sense if he was the obsession or something like that. Probably not barbecue and chili, I'll tell you that. He's coming in our direction anyways. Premonition isn't proccing yet though. There we go. Hello Dwight. Is your plan to trap me in here? Alright, here's how you use no mither, you just sit in the corner. Alright, that guy's in the locker. Alright, then you just maneuver around a bit. Oh, rip Dwight! Alright, um, she's kind of campy here, I'm not liking this, but it's going to have to do something about that. Oh shit. Can't see, now it's useful. Did I even get her? No. <laughs> oh! I'm giving another chance. Woo! Oh shit! Was that lag? Was that add ons? Was that actual? I don't know, dude. Did I not see her? I don't know.
Rip. About this, <laughs> um, ooh, the random turn. That, that's <laughs> wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I bet. Okay, <laughs> she's gone. I juked her. Oh, hi. Yeah, um. Oh no. Oh great. Now I'm going back up here. Boom. Sorry, Claudette. Okay. Now we gotta find a hatch. No problem. We got stealth. Don't worry. She does check lockers, so I may not want to hide them. But usually the hatch would spawn downstairs. I might want to check that. I think the hatch is down there. Oh yeah, it is. She's just gonna camp it. So I'm gonna have to stealth all these generators and get the exit gate. Totally legit, dude. Camping killers are great. Now we go to a new generator. Yeah, now she's coming over. Or I can sneak the hatch. Let's try to sneak the hatch. Oh yeah, she's going back. Let's try to use this as a distraction. Oh, hi. Okay, I basically got it now. <laughs> yeah. She's not that great. Oh, boys. Well then. That was an interesting game, I gotta say. I want to keep quick and quiet, because I know it's basically to use it in a chase. But I mean, you could slip away so easily. Like, you can't be tracked with no mither. So it's like, ah, it kind of works. Now one thing about Premonition as well, and I don't think it's the case this game, but if the killer is a Michael, you will not know until it's too late, basically. Because he could just come around the corner and absolutely screw you over. It doesn't even have to be Mirror Myers, it just has to be a Myers. Uh, Michael Myers in tier 1 is invulnerable to detection perks, including premonition. So, in this case, it's not a Michael Myers because we didn't cue the theme first, so he'd go into rank 2. Once he gets into rank tier 2, then uh, the premonition can go off. So you'll still have the use for the perk, but uh, it'll still detect the wraith and the pig. The Michael Myers tier 1, it's basically made to jump scare you, so no detection perks against him. Oh, see, oh, ah oh, yes, it's a Huntress, another Huntress, cool. See, if you look at my generator points, it's almost full. I did two generators, two full generators. There we go, one generator left. Um, actually, these two generators are right next to each other, so that might be bad. Yeah. Um, I mean, the other generator could be across the map, so I mean... Let's just sneak a -roo. hell yeah. Oh shit, that was not a juke, yes. Um, I'm gonna do this. Okay. This is nutty. <laughs> nope. Oh wait, no, hang on. Okay. <laughs> Didn't have my quick and quiet, whoops. Oh well, slow vault, thanks. I was gonna go through it and then go right back through it again. No, slow bolt. Yeah, this is gonna work. You 
Felix. I hope this SK is open. Nope, it's not. That one's not open either. What the hell? Guys, come in. Okay, it's almost open. Oh, please. Ooh. <laughs> Got him. Easy game. <laughs> Look at that. Every time. Iridescent light bringer. I never get... Well, I'm supposed to get this, but the killer never goes near me. When I do it, it's like the worst time. Oh, the Campbell's Chapel again! I guess this is an old game map. It's not that bad. Hey, you got leader. You're awesome. Let's see if it's another Huntress. Um... Wait, no, it's a clown. Ooh. Totally hidden here. Yes. You'll never find me. Excellent. Oh, yeah, there's alert. Ooh. No. Fuck. Nice will make it, dude. Healing me. Ha, you get pranked. <laughs> I love doing that. Um. Aha, stealth is good. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. No. I refuse. Aha. Damn it. You fucking bitch. Part of, uh, no mither. Find a good hiding spot. Like, goddamn. Like, don't, don't do generators like the one I was just doing. That's why I'm dying so much. Because there's no spot to hide. What? Easy game. How about that? Let's just get rid of quick and quiet. It's it's been a nuisance to me. I mean, really. I want to use it for cool purposes, but it's not for the no mither build. Grim pantry. Okay. Oh hey, another doctor. Bring him towards us, dude. How oh, are you doing? Oh, great. Yep, here it is the victimization. Yeah, damn it. That's no good. Let's go find this. And uh, remind you, this isn't for me. This is for everybody else in the game. Because I get one shot down anyways. But he'll get the chance to moor us eventually. That's the same with uh, No One Escapes Death. People say it's absolutely pointless to heal when there's a uh, one-shotting perk here. But really, there is a point of healing. It's to uh, cover up your blood tracks and not make a lot of noise. Alright, um, I'm not sure if it's really safe to help this guy. I bet he just needs that one last thing and then he gets, then he gets it. I bet he's gonna get moored right now. Wait, no, he's over there. Okay. We're safe for a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, this is a really weird generator. Never seen that before. There it is. Got him. Yes. Okay. So that exit gate is open. You just have to know how to leave. Just run. And, uh, lightweight should cover it up. I'm good. I'm leaving. Get the friend my hatch. That's not the right order of words. Oh well. Get the hatch, dude. Dude, you're good. He's got premonition too, my dude. <laughs> Wonder where he is. Uh oh. Rip you, dude. 6360? Oh no. Oh. You tried me. So I was kind of thinking to myself that game. Man, this is going to make for a really sucky video. I mean, I'm not really getting caught by the killer. I'm not get really getting chased at all. I'm just kind of like getting dead. <laughs> you know, instantly dying whenever the killer finds me. But if you really think about it, I didn't completely die ever in any of those matches. I always escaped. And that's because if you think about it, the ratio that I would have gotten killed and chased and all that stuff without these kind of things active, it's, I'd get caught a lot more. Maybe I could evade more chases, and I'm less likely to evade a chase this way. That's kind of what the no mither build is. The only disadvantage is, is double pips. Like, you're not going to do very well with double pips, because the way to get an emblem is to get chased maybe not get chased but win chases and uh distract the killer for another blood point thing and really that's pretty hard to do when you're just trying to stay stealthy all the time i mean the only way to get boldness points is to be in the killer's terror radius but once he knows you're not there when you actually are he's just gonna leave and you're not gonna get as many boldness points for that you could run a toolbox and sabotage some hooks you can look for totems you can I mean, destroy dull totems, but I mean, that could be a waste of your time in the end. So, I mean, this stealth build, I mean, you're going to survive. I mean, maybe not going to, but I mean, against better killers, I bet this could be a pretty good perk build. So, if you guys want to try it, go ahead. It's kind of fun. It's kind of a challenge. So, I mean, if you're in for that kind of stuff, go right for it, man. Nobody's going to stop you unless the killer's. Uh, the doctor or something like that. I mean, even against the doctor, I was able to stealth away. You could change up this build a little bit if you want to. Maybe alert and premonition could be probably interchangeable. You can also run uh, urban evasion if that's kind of your thing. What I'm trying to say, I'm encouraging you to not use sprint burst. Don't use exhaustion perks because this is the way to do it. I mean, sprint burst would help in this situation. But I mean, it would help for every situation. So, you know, it's kind of overpowered. And they should do something else to nerf it. Other than just like when you run, you don't regain exhaustion. It's kind of weird. I don't know. It's just a crutch perk, man. Don't use sprint burst. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the video, like the video. If you like my other videos, make sure you subscribe. But other than that, see you all later. Unless you see me first. Bye.